Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Steele 88 coming at you with another video. Title of this video, Steelers vs. Bengals game recap, so let's get into it. So the, so the Steelers, excuse me, excuse me, the Steelers pick up a win against Cincinnati, 16-10. And the offense, they played a hell of a game, man. They played a hell of a game. So I'm gonna start up with the recap. I mean the offense. They did a phenomenal job of executing plays. I mean, they did a good job of executing plays and extending drives, but they got to learn how to finish drives. Because in the in the second quarter, they got they got three points in the second quarter. Because in the first quarter it was a, it was a defensive game, which it shouldn't have been because way our offense was moving the ball. But they didn't get but they didn't get a touchdown to the third quarter off a of ninety yards um run in the goal in, in the red zone. I mean, the, the offense did a phenomenal job of, of executing plays, but just got to learn how to, how to finish drive. Should have been, had more points, man. We left a lot of points out on that drive. Kenny Pickett, man, he gotta learn, he's got to work on, on throws under pressure. He's got to learn how to deal with under pressure throws. He only got one complete pressure under pressure. He's got to learn how to work on that because it's, I mean, his pocket press is okay, but when he's under pressure, he's not all that effective. Cause he's got to work on that. So, I mean, the offense is not all, overall. Oh, they only gave up two sacks. They did a pretty good job. The rush, the running game was phenomenal. Almost, I know J. M. Ward was a non-factor in this game, but Najee Harris picked up the slack, slack in that game. Cause Najee, because the running game did pretty good. Like I said, passing was okay, was fine. Kenny Pickett did a pretty good job of of executing the game plan. He executed pretty well. He did a pretty good job of executing the game plan. Re receivers, Deontay Johnson should have had that touchdown pass, but he didn't finish the catch. I know it should have stood at times, though, but the Ravens said it was incomplete. But he's got to learn how to finish the catch in the process. So, I mean, George Pickens did a pretty good job, too. He only got, only, he only got like three catches. Especially that one huge one that gives us the first first down. Could it won if it was touchdown? He got a touchdown. So he had a touchdown catch for the first time since the Baltimore game. I mean, and Pat Fryer move, man, move. He did. He he had a hell of a game. Like not not like um he got he he was getting. Excuse me, sorry about that. He was getting um. Passes over the middle. I mean, where the hell was that at? And you never, you never seen that under Matt Canada. He didn't use his tight ends enough. Yeah, Darnell Washington got that one catch. He, that one went for a first down because they weren't putting him down too easily. Pat Fowler move was a monster in that game. Although he didn't get that touch, get a touchdown catch, but he was a factor in that game. He was a factor in that game because he had. Yeah, nine catches, 120 yards. He was effective in that game. Pratt Farmer was effective in that game. So, yeah, and Deontay Johnson had four catches, 50 yards, though. I know he's been up, somewhat up and down in this game. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, that's that's the offense right there, man. The offense did a pretty good job. Offense line did okay. We know they allowed two sacks, like I said before. But Kenny Pickett needs to work on under pressure throws, though. He needs to work on that. But overall, he he played a pretty good game. I gotta give Kenny Pickett props on that. He played a hell of a game. You know he didn't get a touchdown pass. If Deontay Johnson would have controlled that, control his control the catch at that um possession. So, yeah. Chris Boswell came up big big today with two field goals made. So, one of them, the last one was to close out the game. So, because you can't assume things are gonna be a sure thing down the stretch for. For a field goal, field goal team or whatever, so, so yeah, man. And the defense, they did a pretty good job too. They did a pretty good job. I mean, almost phenomenal. They only allowed seven points though, on that last, and they only get one score else a field goal on that last possession when they wrapped up Joe Mixon got that long first down yardage. So. So, so, yeah, the defense did a pretty good job, too. They got after the quarterback, and they sacked Blake Browning 
twice. And that game, it was Oh, my, my bad. They sacked him four times. I'm gonna look at the wrong stats. Sorry about that. I look at Cincinnati because they got that they got that to Jake Browning four times anyway. So, cause and TJ was was a monster in that game. TJ, why? How about him? He was a monster in that game. Two sacks, one and one forced fumble. He was a monster. One hell of a monster in that game. Came here, we got a hips over sack too. You know, on TJ, he combined with TJ one on that one sack. Nick Herbert with that sack, man. He this dude came up like a fucking missile, man. That sack that, t that uh, Nick Herbert had, he came out, he came out like a missile. So, so yeah, man. And then the second day, it was up and down at times, though. Although they limited um, Jamar Chase to four catches, eighty-one yards, though. But. Because I know Jamar Chase ain't been, it was not that much of a factor. Although the stats were okay, though. But he didn't he wasn't that much of a factor. And the defense, they did a hell of a job on Jay, on, on Joe Mixon on the ground. They hold they, they hold an eight carry 16 yards. That is that is one impressive stat. Stay hold J Joe Mixon 16 yards. Although Joe Mixon had well 16 yards rushing, though, but although he had about 60 all-purpose yards, though. So, but anyway, we we shake Joe Mixon down on the ground. So you you keep doing you keep doing doing shit like that, man. You are going to win games. You're going to start. You start to win. You going to win games, because we hold them, because we hold on to the total of 25 yards rushing combined. So and Trent Thompson, man, shout out to him. He got these guys first interception in the game. Should have had two and would have dropped dropped that one in Cleveland. But anyway, it is what it is. So, yeah, man. So, and how about George Pickens, man? Again, he he sealed it with a kickoff return. They're on an offside kick, though. Man, he but I know he didn't have that much of a game, like I said before. So, yeah, man. So, and for the first time in a while, the Steelers had... 400 plus yards on offense, 421 to be exact. 400 yards, man. It's been a long time. It's been a long ass time since the Steelers had that much yards on on offense. And they outgained Cincinnati. They outgained Cincinnati by. If I can do my math correctly, they outgained them by. By two by 200 and. 211, 211 yards. So, no, uh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't do my math correctly. Sorry about that. Oh, because they, they, yeah, they dig out, out against this name because that's the first time in the season anyway they have outgained somebody. For all, for all, all 10 games that we played this season, we've been outgained on offense. Some of the results in the wins, though, first time. In a while that we out gained our opponents on offense. So the Steelers out gained the, the Bengals by by 209 yards, I believe. Pretty well wrong though, so. So yeah, anyway, the Steelers on offense outgained somebody on, on outgained their opponents for the first time in a long time anyway. So I know I've seen it over and over, but I apologize. Though, so hey. Hell of a game by the offense. They still get but guys learn how to execute, though. They have to learn how to execute. They have to learn how to finish drives. And they did execute, excuse me. They did execute on their drives, but they got to learn how to finish drives with touchdowns. Should have more points. Should have at least 20 points in this game. But we get but we finished with 16 points. So, if John J. Johnson would hold on to that touchdown pass, we'd have 20, 20 plus points. But it is what it is right now. So, still got to work on some little things, though. Got to look on a little on offense. It's starting to improve. So, you're not, you're not, it's not every game you're going to get a lot of points and all that, but it is what it is. So, yeah.
So the defense did a hell of a job. So the offense did phenomenal on their execution, though. But not getting enough points, though. Although we walked away with a win, and we'll beat the Bengals by six. So, so that's all. That's all. I got that's all for this recap. So, Bengal fans, great game. Although we can't stand each other, though. But y'all played, but y'all played a great game against us, though. So great game. So good luck to the rest of y'all season. We'll see y'all in see y'all on December twenty third at Heinz Field. Still not calling it Acre Shore. So yeah. So the Steelers game ball goes to Kenny Pickett, Najee Harris. He had a hell of a game. Yeah, because Najee Harris had a hell of a game because he gets a game ball. He had 15 carries for 99 yards. Almost almost created 100 yards in this game. So and that's the, and um other ones goes to um Pat Fryermove gets the game ball. And TJ Watt gets the game ball. Cameron Hill gets the game ball. Herbert gets the game ball. And Trent Thompson gets the game ball. But the biggest game ball I had to give it to is Mike Sullivan, quarterback's coach, and Eric Faulkner. They played, they called a hell of a game plan. They get the game ball. So, so yeah, man. And hit Pickett's test, by the way. 24, 24 for 33, 278 yards. That's it. So he played a pretty good game. I know Jane Warren had 13 carries, 49 yards. So, but but the rushing but the rushing yards were a combined of 153 yards if you count Kenny Pickett's five attempts for five, for five yards. So, yeah, man. So that's it for this for this uh, recap. That's all for this video. Hey, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So, I'll see you on my Victory Monday video. Hey, so this is George Steel eighty eight. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pittsburgh sports content, other sports content on my channel. See you guys in the next video. And as always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Yeah, man. I'm going to close out with this one. Yo, Matt Canada. Bitch. Is this your is this your offense we're running? Is it? Hell no, Jag off. So here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Yeah, man.